ஓம் நமோ பகவதி வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதி வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதி வாசுதேவாய நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்தியம் நரம் சைவா நரோத்தமம் தேவீம் சரஸ்வதீம் வியாசம் ததோ ஜயமுதீரயே நஷ்டபிராயேஷபத்ரேஷு நித்தியம் பாகவத் சிவய பகவதி உத்தம ஸ்லோக்கே பக்திர்பவதி நைஷ்டி கே சிஸ்டம் துருமாராஜ் கா சதர்ஷாவிமான நவசோ அவதர துவ விஜயத் திசோ ராக்காபதிம் இவோதிதம் ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஸ் சூன் ஆஸ் சிம்டம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிஸ் லிபரேஷன் வர் மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் ஹி சாய் எ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் ஏரோப்ளேன் கமிங் டவுன் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்காய் ஆஸ் இஃப் த பிரில்லியன்ட் ஃபுல் மூன் வர் கமிங் டவுன் இல்யூமினேட்டிங் ஆல் த டென் டைரக்ஷன்ஸ் purport there are uh, different levels of acquired knowledge direct knowledge knowledge received from authorities transcendental knowledge knowledge beyond the senses and finally spiritual knowledge when one surpasses the stage of acquiring knowledge by the descending process he is immediately situated on the transcendental platform dhruv maharaj being liberated from the material concept of life was situated in transcendental knowledge and could perceive the presence of a transcendental airplane which was as brilliant as the full moonlight this is not possible in the stages of direct or indirect perception of knowledge such knowledge is a special favor of the supreme personality of godhead one can however rise to this platform of knowledge by the gradual process of advancing in devotional service or krishna consciousness தூவரோ சதுர்புஜோ ஷாமோ கிஷோராவ் அருணாம்பஜேஷனோ ஸ்திவஸ்தியுவாசோ கிரீட்டாரங்கதாருக்குண்டலோ துருமாராஜ சா டூ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் அசோசியேட்ஸ் ஆஃப் லார்ட் விஷ்ணு இன் த பிளேன் தே ஹேட் ஃபோர் ஹேண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் எ பிளாக்கிஷ் பாடிலி லஸ்டர் தேவர் very youthful and their eyes were just like reddish lotus flowers they held clubs in their hands and they were dressed in very attractive garments with helmets and were decorated with necklaces bracelets and ear rings purport the inhabitants of vishnu loka are of the same bodily feature as lord vishnu and they also hold club conchal lotus flower and disc in this verse it is distinctly stated that they had four hands and were nicely dressed the description of their bodily decorations corresponds exactly to that of vishnu so the two uncommon personalities who descended from the aeroplane came directly from vishnu loka or the planet where lord vishnu lives om jnana timrindasya jnana anjana salakaya சூன்மிலிம் யேன தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீகுருவே நம ஜய ஸ்ரீகிருஷ்ணச்சைத்தன்யபூநித்தியநந்தீயதாதிரீவாசாதிகௌரவந்த 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो व्हाट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द्रुव महाराज पास टाइम Why it is so important? Go ahead. The One person. Huh? At the age of five, he was such a devotee of God. I mean, uh, what we understand, what we learn, uh, that uh, one should not be materially, you know, attached materially to material thing and should uh, be surrendered to the Lord. So that what? Dhruv Maharaj's strong determination was the... Yeah, very good. Dhruv Maharaj actually went for material gain. He wanted the uh, kingdom better than Brahma, Brahmaji. But when he saw Lord, then he realized he, what I was asking for. I was you know, thinking of some uh, pieces of uh, glass, but here I got a diamond. When somebody is inclined towards uh, spiritual uh, practice, Lord sends a guru, as in this case, is not a Very good. We can see its uh, transactions or the passes through the normal stage of the common human being to the spiritual stage and the changes in face and what we can learn from its changes. Yeah. Very good, very good. So, um, it's very important. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, instructed to uh, hear this past time 108 times right 108 times why because uh, in spiritual life uh, we need uh, three things right what are they determination complete faith unflinching faith and complete surrender so this uh, aspect of determination we can learn from Dhru Maharaj then unflinching faith we can learn from Prahlad Maharaj and then complete surrender we can learn from Gopis right so uh, uh, that is why uh, Prabhupada, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, instructed to study these two pastimes uh, uh, both Dhruva Maharaj's pastime and Prahlad Maharaj's pastime 108 times and then Srila Prabhupada instructed us to read Krishna book 108 times right <laughs> so uh, uh, one of the uh, main features of this Rumara's pastime like Bhaktivinoda Thakur says that uh, the first level of pure devotee start from Dhruva Maharaj first level and then Prahlad Maharaj so uh, Dhruva Maharaj one thing we can learn from Durumara's pastime uh, is that uh, if you uh, if you study uh, the eighth chapter uh, the, the the eighth chapter the uh, harsh speech and uh, anger. You know, like first, you know, religion, irreligion, and then falsity. All that, you know, marriage takes place, and then the, all the children they come. So the last one are uh, this uh, anger and harsh speech. So Dhrumara's pastime uh, starts with uh, harsh speech. Uh, right? By whom? By the stepmother. Harsh speech by whom? Suruchi. Suruchi. Right. Uh, the the names also are there, right? Uh, Uttanapad, Uttanapad, uh, Suruchi, and Suniti, and Dhruva, right? Uttama, right? So uh, Suruchi and Suniti. Suruchi, we are all you know belonging category of Suruchi. Suruchi means we are uh, attracted to. Uh, sense gratification <laughs> right so Suniti uh, is the one who has principles in her life Suniti right 
So in our life, three things are required. Neeti, Dharma and Satyam. Neeti, Dharma and Satyam. So, uh, Suniti, uh, so we should follow uh, Suniti. You know? mm. So, Niti means uh, ethics. We should have some ethics in our life, principles in our life. Right? So, that's why she instructed uh, Dhruv Maharaj uh, to, you know. So, one thing, uh, because of uh, harsh speech, you know, it resulted in anger of Dhruv Maharaj. Right? Uh, um, the one of the lessons we learn from Dhruv Maharaj pastime is uh, uh, out of these six, you know, something or the other, you know, Kam Krodh Lob, Mohammad Masariya will uh, trouble us. Or um, all of them they may trouble. But you know, for Dhruv Maharaj it was anger. So, uh, when uh, Suruchi uh, in, uh, uh, insulted Dhruv Maharaj, he became very, very angry and that anger troubled him throughout his life. Throughout his life, right? So, because of that anger, uh, uh, he left, you know, but uh, his mother, you know, uh, because she was very sensible, Right? She was very sensible. So, instead of uh, taking the path of uh, uh, irreligious or uh, path or anything, so when uh, um, when Dhruva Maharaj was very angry, you know, so he just ran towards his mother. So his mother Suniti, uh, Suri, uh, Suniti what did she say? She said, um, um, don't uh, uh, f uh, um, uh, desire for uh, uh, pain for others. Right? Don't desire. So that was the first principle she taught him. Otherwise, uh, you know, uh, all these, you know, they teach, you know, all these uh, uh, revenge, revenge and all that. Right? So Salim Javed, you know, they destroyed our culture, right? So, but we don't, we don't have that, you know, revenge, badlalinika culture. Uh, so, uh, angry young man, you know, they say, you know, but actually, uh, we should follow uh, Yudhishthira Maharaj, cool young man, not angry young man. You know, we need uh, cool young man. So that's what Suniti did for him, Dhruva Maharaj. You know, she, uh, you know, you know, managed his anger towards. You know. Then uh, Shila Prabhupada uh, writes for a beautiful thing that. Uh, <coughs> so Dhruva Maharaj and uh, Suniti, they were actually lamenting. Oh, uh, Suniti was lamenting, I was just like a maid servant, you know, uh, I, I have no value uh, in Uttanapad's life. So it is your misfortune that, uh, you know, you have taken birth from my womb, like that. So Prabhupada writes beautifully there that, uh, what is the use of simply sitting and lamenting, right? Do something practical. Right? Sometimes we see, right? Something we lose in our life. You know, kitna bhi ro, you know, you will not get it back. Suppose, you know, you lose something or you lose somebody. So, if you simply sit and cry, will you get it back? No. So, that's one, one principle we should learn from Dromara's pastime. You know, there is no use simply sitting and no. lamenting. Do something practical. practical. Right? Do something practical. So, so Prabhupada. I request everyone to keep their mobile strictly off. Strictly in silent mode or put it off, please. Thank you. Next time, kisi ka bhi mobile bajega, ek kalash dene badega. Forty-one thousand, huh? Janmashtami Kalash. Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, uh, 
even the that that time the culture was so high that even the suruchi also even though she was very angry and then she was envious but she gave the right advice right mm. she she you know, like sometimes we give gallies to people what we say jahannam ho jao aisa kuch bolte hai na jahannam mein jao ha ha jahannam ha go to hell right um, some gali also is there right baad mein jao aisa kuch ha kya baad mein jao means kya hota hai flood flood going flood acha flood mein jao she didn't give, uh, she, she didn't say bad or she go to hell uh, no unlike that what did she say she you worship narayana die you you worship narayana you die and then take birth even though she was giving galis but the right gali she gave you know she gave the right so Sun- suniti also appreciated yes whatever your stepmother uh, told you uh, you follow that right one very interesting thing Prabhupada writes that uh, you are actually, you know, children, you know, they cry for affection. You know, they feel very comfortable and secure, protected in the um, lap of mother. Right? They, they want love. So, but uh, Suniti, uh, Surichi, uh, Suniti was uh, uh, advising uh, uh, that uh, uh, actually, uh, you are actually expecting uh, affection from me. Affection from me. You go to Narayana. You will experience millions and millions of mother's affection. Right? So, uh, we all you know want love. Right? We all want love, right? So, but uh, uh, what we get uh, is... Uh, most of the time, sometimes uh, betrayal or loss of somebody, right? Once uh, Jadurani Mataji wrote a letter to Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada, my boyfriend has ditched me. Prabhupada said, accept Krishna as your boyfriend, he will never ditch you. <laughs> right? Once uh, Prabhupada went to uh, Chennai, those uh, parents, you know, uh, husband and wife, they were lamenting. So, because their very young son died. So, Prabhupada said, uh, accept Krishna as your son, he will never die. Right? So, um, uh, we want love, but uh, uh, we cannot remain without loving uh, somebody else. But uh, in this world, when we love somebody, uh, you know, it is, there is no guarantee because, right? Uh, uh, we, we may love somebody because somebody is very beautiful. But after some time, that beauty <laughs> goes away. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, then, uh, uh, then, you, there is a, then you will feel, oh, uh, you want to love somebody else. But, uh, uh, you know, what is the... Uh, you know, like uh, beauty. Beauty means uh, like Lord Rama and Lord Krishna. You know, they are considered most beautiful personalities, right? So, what is Ananda? Right? Ananda means uh, um, like um, uh, they say. Uh, you know, uh, Saundaryata is Ananda. You know, sometimes when we that is why all these film actors uh, they have lot of followings. You know, whenever they. Uh, post their pictures uh, people you know follow right so so many views they get you know 10 million views and we when we put our pictures you know, 30 views and 40 views we'll get <laughs> right um, but uh, uh, th- those all those people now they have become old uh, they then someone else we go on but uh, mm, uh, krishna's beauty is such that uh, uh, it increases at every moment at every moment. So that is why uh, we see Krishna more and more, we get more and more uh, ananda, happy. Right? So uh, that is one thing. 
another aspect we should learn from Dhrumaraj's pastime uh, is that uh, uh, Dhrumaraj told Narad Muni that uh, 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 that uh, Prabhupada writes in that purport that you know uh, you are a uh, like a son traveling all over the world and then you know the uh, and then you are like Paramatma you know you know everybody's heart you know what is in your heart so uh, please uh, tell me uh, process by which uh, I can fulfill my desire so Prabhupada writes in the pur purport that uh, Narad um, Nadru Maharaj wants to achieve his goal not by some hook or crook right not by you know, nowadays you know there is policy you know um, adopt any means and you know you get it but that is not the policy of Vedic civilization. So Dhrumara said, uh, my dear um, Prabhupada writes, oh, he doesn't want to get it by hook or crook, uh, but uh, he wanted to follow proper procedure. If he gets it by the mercy of Narayana, he will, otherwise he is okay. Not that, you know, he will uh, adopt uh, unlawful means. Right? So Srila Prabhupada wanted us to leave it, lead a, a very honest life. Prabhupada said, Iskan Grastas, they should uh, earn their money through honest means, not through uh, uh, Ill, uh, no, um, unlawful means and you know corruption. Uh, so Prabhupada didn't want. Uh, one of our uh, senior devotees, uh, he was telling that uh, uh, Prabhupada, uh, he was actually smuggling, you know, goods and all. So one day, he was almost caught, caught in Los Angeles airport. Then Prabhupada uh, met him. He was, uh, Prabhupada was crying. Prabhupada was crying. He said, why should you do this? Don't do this. You know, if you get caught, you know, we will get bad name. You know, we will get bad name. So, uh, uh, but he didn't listen. Then uh, again he was uh, uh, doing that. Then Prabhupada told him that, uh, okay, Mm, I will take the money that you are bringing through unlawful means, but I will not take your karma. You will have to suffer. So other day he met me and then he was saying that he got some very, in a bad place, cancer, very suffering a lot. So he was telling me that, yeah, you know, Prabhupada warned me. So I am getting the result of my, those uh, bad deeds. So Prabhupada did not want uh, devotees to, you know, uh, through wrongful means, you know, achieve your by hook or crook, you know, like that policy we should not have. You know, we should have uh, honesty uh, in our lives, and uh, um, you know, depend on uh, depend on Krishna, right? Depend on Krishna. So that is uh, uh, one of the things. Uh, another uh, aspect. Um, is that um, uh, Dhruva Maharaj um, H, we have this uh, feeling that uh, Dhruva Maharaj achieved success uh, in uh, six months time but actually uh, that is uh, one part of it but uh, in Vishnu Purana uh, it is mentioned that uh, Lord Narayana uh, when he had uh, when he had given darshan to him so he uh, <laughs> mentioned to him because he told him that no I don't want uh, you know I don't want anything now I am satisfied Swami in Krita Tosmi Varam Nayache because uh, Krishna is so beautiful uh, just by seeing him uh, everything he is completely satisfied he didn't want anything uh, but uh, uh, um, Lord Krishna told him that uh, you came to me with a desire, you know. He had two uh, things in his heart. One is uh, uh, that he wanted a kingdom uh, greater than his uh, Brahmaji. And another thing is his revenge against his stepmother. So both he wanted to give up. But Krishna said, see, you have done such a great austerity which attracted the whole world. So if I don't fulfill your desire, then people will blame me that uh, 
uh, I know um, he the, such a small boy came to me and I did not fulfill his desire one more aspect uh, he mentions to uh, Dhru Maharaj, in, this is given in Vishnu Purana, it's not in uh, Maha, Srimad Bhagatam, that uh, in his previous life, he actually, it is not possible to, uh, f- you know, finish in six months or whatever, uh, because, uh, you know, it takes time, you know, to purify our heart. So, but actually, Dhru Maharaj already finished most of his devotional service in his last life. But, uh, he was, bo- he was uh, in his previous life, he was a Brahmin boy. And then he uh, he, uh, he he finished almost. Then uh, he uh, he had a friend who is a Kshatriya prince. So he used to go to his palace sometimes to meet his friend. So Dhruva Maharaj uh, that time he had a desire. Oh, such a nice palace, such a beautiful, you know, these Kshatriyas they are very beautiful. So such a beautiful uh, females and fe- beautiful uh, gardens and uh, such a nice, uh, uh, you know, uh, opulence, wealth and all. So he had that, uh, uh, he developed the desire to be a uh, ksh- you know, uh, king and live in a great palace. So, uh, and then he was doing, you know, uh, uh, his devotional service, then he was doing his uh, deity worship, then he was uh, practicing his uh, Varnashram Dharma properly. All that uh, he was doing, but uh, this one desire he cultivated in his last life. So that is why he had to take birth as a Kshatriya. So Krishna told him, now, you know, you have to uh, finish up that desire. So we should be very, very careful. Uh, you know, not to uh, become attached to, you know, uh, some kind of desire in our life. Right? Then, uh, uh, that samskara will take us to uh, some other body. Right? To some other body. So, that is why uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, told, you know, to study this pastime 108 times because uh, we will understand what is the what are the pitfalls of uh, maintaining material desires in our heart. You know, we'll, so that is why it is mentioned that Roma Raj was lamenting every day for thirty six thousand years, because Krishna told him, you know, you have to leave, lead this, you know, rule this kingdom for thirty six thousand years. So even after having darshan of Lord Narayana, so Roma Raj was uh, not happy. So Vidura was uh, uh, surprised that how is it that you know Dhru Maharaj was not happy uh, because of this Prabhupada writes you know in the purport this verse is discussed uh, by many you know uh, acharyas elaborately so um, uh, so one the, so he was very he was unhappy uh, because are what have you know it is just like you know uh, you go to some uh, ambani or uh, adani nowadays right Adani, and then he will say, uh, you just ask uh, whatever you want. Then he will say, you give me 101 rupee donation. <laughs> <laughs> right? So you go to Ambani or Adani, you should ask, you know, give some 500 crores, we'll finish up the Mayapur temple. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So, uh, when we go to, uh, once, uh, once, uh, one uh, uh, king, you know, he went to South India, you know, Kanchipuram. He had three wives. So, uh, he sent a message, I am coming back, uh, what all you want? So, Kanchipuram is famous for? He is famous for another jewelry also. They make very nice jewelry. Mataji, next time, you know. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> uh, South Indian jewelry they make. Uh, so, one wife uh, uh, told, uh, um, you know, bring some very nice Kanchipuram sarees. Oh, first wife, she said. Then, uh, second wife, uh, you know, she said, uh, oh, please bring some nice jewelry. Right? Third wife sent a very nice uh, uh, paper. You know, on that paper, uh, she painted red. And then in between, in the middle, she, saw, she wrote Sa. Right? So, mm, the husband understood, you know, what is that? Lalsa. 
<laughs> she sent her a code, you know, Lalsa. So she, uh, he came, then he sent uh, sadis to the first wife, he sent jewelry to the second wife, and then he himself went to the <laughs> third wife, because I want you. <laughs> right? Always remember, um, um, if Krishna likes you, what? If Krishna likes you, he will give you very nice, um, you know, uh, Mercedes Benz car, very, you know, fly, you know, bangla on the side of Juhu beach, huh? yes. then a beautiful wife or a handsome husband, all that. If Krishna loves you, huh? if Krishna loves you, he will take away everything. <laughs> so how many of you want that uh, Krishna should like you? <laughs> Please raise your hands. Huh? old age ago, abhi kaun sa bangla chahiye aapko? That's why I'm asking. If Krishna likes you, he will give you bangla, beautiful wife, uh, <laughs> and all that. If Krishna loves you, he will take away everything that you have got. Or your bank balance, everything will be finished. Your, you know, flat will be gone. How many of you want? Uh, that Krishna should love you. <laughs> huh? He is. Don't raise. Pure. Acha se raise karo. He wants. Huh? Krishna. Huh? <laughs> so tomorrow it goes away. Who else? Who else? Who else wants that Krishna should like you? What is the result? If Krishna likes you, he will give you uh, Mercedes Benz Gadi. He will give you Mercedes Benz Gadi, uh, beautiful wife, uh, Bangla on the Juhu beach, everything. But if Krishna loves you, he will take away everything. No. See. <coughs> Once, uh, when uh, the king, you know, uh, he declared that to tomorrow is my birthday, uh, whatever, um, uh, you know, you want, you can ask, I will give you. <laughs> right? Then everybody is coming, you know, come, somebody is taking diamond, somebody is taking cash, somebody is taking gold coins and all. One lady, she came, then said, make me Raj Mata. <laughs> like that, um, we, 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 are, we should, we will be considered very foolish if you go and ask Krishna any material uh, fulfillments. Mm -hmm. Because you should, uh, uh, you should always remember the story of uh, Duryodhan and Arjuna going to Krishna in Dwarka. Mm -hmm. Right? You know? We all have a choice. Like Duryodhan also had a choice. Arjuna had a choice. So what is, Arjuna said, Krishna, I want you. That Duryodhana said, I want your Sena. Right? Uh, but actually, uh, you know, energy, Krishna's energies and Krishna. So in between these two, we should make a choice. What we want? If Krishna is there, Krishna's energies also are there. Right? Yes. If Krishna's energies you ask, Krishna is not there. It's foolishness. Just like uh, um, suppose you know uh, somebody asks you know Krishna, please give me a beautiful wife or a nice husband or whatever. You will get a beautiful wife. <laughs> but uh, one of our devotees, he was running after one girl. Uh, that girl said, uh, Mera beauty parlor ka bill aata hai 20,000 rupay. <laughs> you are going to put the bill? No, no, no. Vaak ka aagaya. 20,000. So, sir, that's why Prabhupada said, uh, you know, Rupavati Bariya Shatru. <laughs> right? <laughs> Uska maintenance charge baut hota hai. <laughs> Huh? Thak jayega. Some women are naturally beautiful. 
फिर भी मेकअप तो ब्यूटी पार्लर तो जाना ही पड़ता है ना सो मेंटेनेंस चार्ज अलग है और मेंटेनेंस चार्ज भगवान नहीं देगा वंस यू नो इन In Chapati Temple, there is so much rush and all. Somebody wanted to give uh, uh, AC, you know, donate AC. And the uh, pr- temple president told, don't donate AC. Uh, uh, bill the, uh, foot the bill. We will purchase AC. Uh, you foot the bill every month. <laughs> you know, you, like that. So, um, pr- 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 you know, it's not very, uh, you, know, you know, advisable. Uh, to nourish material desires in our heart. So we become dissatisfied at the end. Just like Dhruva Maharaj was very unhappy. Uh, one good thing, you know, like uh, uh, these are all real things, you know, like uh, Vishnu Dutta's coming and the many, so many people they had seen uh, Yamadutas. Right? Some people they have uh, seen Vishnu Dutas. So, Yamadutas, they are more prominent in Kali Yuga. Uh, if you read, uh, sixth, uh, if you study sixth kind of Bhagavatam, on the back page, uh, there is a photograph where uh, Ajamila and then, uh, <coughs> you know, this uh, Ajamila and uh, uh, Yamadutas, you know, uh, taking his life and all. So, uh, when the first time it was printed, uh, sometime in 1975-74. So they were distributing books in uh, Los Angeles airport. So, um, so uh, Prabhupada said, you know, these uh, paintings are, uh, um, you know, windows to the spiritual world. You know, Prabhupada actually uh, visualized, you know, because Prabhupada had seen this Golak Vrindavan. Like, uh, uh, once uh, Prabhupada was there in Los Angeles. Uh, anybody went to Los Angeles? Uh, the Los Angeles garden is very famous, Prabhupada's favorite. You know, he used to sit there and do Krishna Kathar. Uh, I went there um, last time. So um, he was very fond of, you know, Los Angeles garden. And then he used to tell, there is one uh, sannyasi, Vishnu Janaswami. He was doing very, he used to do very ecstatic kirtan and all. So uh, one day Prabhupada was there and then there was a huge uh, tumultuous kirtan and then dancing. And then uh, Prabhupada also was dancing in ecstasy. And then devotees, they became transported to Vaikuntha. So Prabhupada later on, the, even now also some devotees, they experience, uh, they share that experience. Oh, that day we went to, we experienced Vaikuntha. Then uh, Prabhupada said, uh, it is just a small sample I have given you of Vaikuntha life. Small sample. So, anyway. Uh, so, uh, they are distributing books you know, first time, and then uh, when he, when uh, so Prabhupada told you know show these photographs uh, to people, you know they will they become attracted like that. Uh, uh, so then uh, um, uh, that person uh, showed this picture to somebody, and Sasat became very very frightened as soon as he saw the she saw the picture, and then she just started you know, just kept the book, you know. Uh, in the in a, in, a, in the hands of the devotee and then ran and that devotee ran behind that lady and said what happened what happened why did you become so frightened and I said no uh, other day I had a heart attack and then I saw these guys you know <laughs> I saw these guys <laughs> like that. so they're, they're, then I prayed to God and then they ran away my father told me uh, that around uh, maybe eight uh, six eight years back, he was very very sick, so he was admitted in a uh, uh, hospital, and uh, mm, so then they sent me a message that you know uh, doctors told you know kisi ko bulana hai to bula le. So then they called me and all. So so they were they were telling uh, that he was telling you know before I went that. Uh, uh, tell them to go, you know, he was a little, you know, semi-conscious, like, you know, uh, like, uh, so in the, you know, uh, at the end of the life, you know, Yamadutas, they come and then all the patients, you know, people who are dying, they can see Yamadutas. 
So, but some people they become aware and uh, he, he was telling it, tell them to go away, tell them to go away. Like that he was shouting. <laughs> you know? Uh, because, you know, he was seeing Amudutas. <laughs> like that. So when I went, you know, uh, nursing a prayer and then nursing a photograph and all, it looks like they went away. So, uh, there are uh, many people, you know, who saw uh, Yamadutas, right? Uh, this is a Satya Ghatana. Uh, there in uh, Benares, one sadhu uh, uh, explained this in Telugu, yeah, like that. Uh, once, uh, <coughs> one sadhu ashram, they were distributing prasad on Ekadasi day. So, some workers are there. Uh, out of them, two Muslims were there. So when he gave prasadam to the Muslims, uh, those guys, they said, no, we are doing nirjala. I said, what? You are doing nirjala? <laughs> I said, why? Uh, then uh, they explained uh, that they were working in some uh, railway yard. So something happened uh, that, uh, that they were there, one day they were working very, very hard. And then uh, they did not uh, eat and they did not uh, drink water or anything, whole day. So in the middle of the night, uh, these uh, Yamadutas, they came and they were taking them. And uh, uh, in the middle of the, uh, the some, uh, somebody has joined, then uh, mm, uh, he said, please, uh, uh, you know, like Vishnu Dutas, they came and then they said, you leave, li you leave him. Said why? Because they he did they did Nirjala Ekadasi. They fasted for Nirjala Ekadasi. So you you don't, don't take them. So they the, 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 they came back and then the dead bodies became alive. <laughs> and then they went and they said, what is this? They are Muslims. Then they said, what is this Nirjala Ekadasi? You know like that. So they went to nearby temple and asked, you know. What is this Nirjala Ekadasi? You know? <laughs> so this is an Ekadasi, Hari's day and all that. Oh, like that. <laughs> so like that, uh, we have uh, uh, histories of people, you know, seeing Yamadutas and chanting, you know, when uh, we have this history of Ajamila chanting. So, uh, and then Vishnu Dutas, they come appear uh, like that. So, um, in this same way, Dromaraj, uh, you know, he was, uh, fin when he finished uh, his uh, devotional service, uh, when he became liberated, uh, when he became completely pure, then Vishnu thus, they have appeared. Prabhupada said, we, uh, all of us, we drive BMW. You know BMW? Huh? You drive? Huh? Body, mind and words. We commit sin, Prabhupada said, we commit sinful activities with body, mind and Words. So that is why three Yamadutas they come. Right? Three Yamadutas they come. So when Ajamila chanted Narayana, you know, four Vishnudas they came. Narayana. <laughs> right? So just imagine you chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. 30 to Krishna Dutas, they will come. <laughs> I will tell a very interesting story and I think we have finished, right? Huh? Um, uh, during uh, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he had two wives. Uh, the first wife, she had, they, have, she, they have one son, eldest son. And then the second wife, Bhagavati Devi, I think some five or nine, nine children or something. So, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, his name was, you know, what is his name? Uh, Bimal Prasad Datta. Right? Bimal Prasad Datta. Like that. So, um, uh, he was uh, uh, one of the sons of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, when uh, uh, the eldest son of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, when he was, uh, when he was around 40 years or something, he was, he became very sick. Then he was about to leave the body. At the time, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he was in uh, Kolkata. In uh, Swarup Ganj, uh, in their house, all the devotees, all the people uh, have assembled, including the Bhagavati Devi, 
then all his brothers, including uh, Bhakti Siddhanta Sahas Thakur, all of the many devotees they have assembled. So, uh, uh, so he was on the deathbed. Right? He was on the deathbed. And then uh, uh, suddenly, um, when, uh, when he was about to leave the body, there was a commotion in the room. And there is affligence in the room. Right? So, very, uh, some beautiful personalities have appeared and then uh, they were speaking amongst themselves. And then uh, um, Bhakti Nuttakur's son, uh, he told that actually, and then uh, finally uh, a, a light appeared, a light appeared on his navel. And then he traveled, uh, throwed on you know, all the chakras and all that. And then it appeared on his, you know, brukuti. You know, in the middle of the, and then uh, he was uh, having a uh, Gaudi Vaishnav Tilak. So that Gaudi Vaishnav Tilak turned into Sri Vaishnav Tilak. And then he told, uh, actually, in my previous life, I was a Sri Vaishnava. But uh, I have uh, ridiculed uh, Gaudi Vaishnav philosophy, you know, Krishna consciousness, as given by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because of that aparad. So, uh, it was mentioned that uh, he was a little bit uh, mentally mad, ma mentally off person. He was a postmaster, he was working as a postmaster, he was never married. But he was little mental illness he had. So, because of that, uh, he said, because of the apra that I have committed by ridiculing Gaudi Vaishnava philosophy, uh, I, uh, I had to suffer like this, I have to take birth like this and then suffer from mental illness. Now I'm, it's all done. Then he told Krishna Conscious Philosophy, Gaudi Vaishnava Philosophy is the highest and uh, Bhimal Prasad, he is not an ordinary soul. He is a special, you know, like that. And then he, le uh, then again uh, that uh, Tilak turned into Gaudi Vaishnava Tilak. And then he went back to God. So it was recorded. You know, uh, Bhakti Vikas Maharaj wrote that you know, there is a book, Bhakti Siddhant Vaibhava. So this this incident is re recorded. So uh, many devotees uh, have experienced, uh, you know, we have experienced, you know, how uh, devotees, uh, what is it, Prutuputra, you know, Prutuputra Das. Uh, Uh, he was actually, uh, he, he has done lot of service to Srila Prabhupada and uh, 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 he, he became a sannyasi also, right? He became a sannyasi also. Then he was doing a lot of service to Prabhupada and all. Then, uh, and then uh, Prabhupada, and then after Prabhupada left, he left uh, Krishna consciousness. Uh, then he became uh, f sort of fallen down and all. Then, uh, when uh, uh, when he was about to die and all, he was admitted in a hospital. And then, uh, so the doctors and all, they were discussing. And then, uh, uh, he, he, were, he had a cancer, something like that. And then, uh, uh, devotees, uh, the, uh, the doctors are treating him and all. And then, uh, he, uh, like, uh, uh, I don't know, cancer patients, they experience a lot of pain. Uh, so, uh, so he was under pain, but suddenly uh, all that pain and all is gone for him. And uh, uh, so then uh, he, uh, he he started smiling, right? So when he was about to leave the body, and then uh, he raised his hands. Then he said, "Oh, uh, Prabhupada, you have come." Then he left the body. <laughs> so, Prabhupada, uh, another incident, you know, uh, you know, that uh, Sudama, Sudama Prabhu. So, uh, he was 17 year old boy. You know, Prabhupada said, uh, if somebody goes to Japan and preaches, you know, I will personally come and take him. Right? I will personally come and take him. And then, uh, uh, after Prabhupada left, he left sannyas, he, he became a gay and so many things he has done. 
but you know finally he was left in you know his mother took him and brought him to los angeles temple he was very sick then he also said oh prabhupad uh, you have come so prabhupad came because prabhupad promised <laughs> right so like that uh, another time uh, uh, there is upendra prabhu uh, upendra prabhu also uh, Prabhupada, when he went back to America after, he f you know, in 1967 he fell very sick, and then he came to India. Then he got treated, and then when he came, when he went back, he took a coconut grater machine. So Prabhupada told he was, uh, uh, he said, uh, he he told uh, Sudha, uh, Upendra Prabhu that you know you make laddu every day for me, you know, coconut laddu. Uh, I will take you to Golagundavan. <laughs> <laughs> so Bhakti, uh, so he, uh, in Australia he was very sick. Our Jayadvaita Maharaj and all they were there. So Prabhupada gave him, a, uh, you know, after that he Prabhupada, after Prabhupada left, he, he also left the movement. But you know, Prabhupada gave him his walking stick. So he was carrying that walking stick and all. So everybody saw how Prabhupada came and took him because Prabhupada promised <laughs> that you know. I will take you. So, uh, even though we don't uh, become perfect and all, uh, you know, if you if you remain surrendered, you know, Prabhupada said, if you can't do anything else, just catch hold of my dhoti. <laughs> right? So, Prabhupada uh, uh, promised, if you chant 16 rounds and follow four regular principles, preach Krishna consciousness, I will personally come and take you. Right? So this is what is happening to Dhruva Maharaj. So Dhruva Maharaj now life has become perfect. So Vishnu Dutas they come. So now they will take him. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Any questions? No questions? That's what, you know, he had an anger problem. <laughs> Guilty. Because uh, he, he, he uh, you know, this revengeful attitude we should not have, you know, grudge. So because he had a grudge towards his stepbrother and uh, stepmother, so Krishna had to uh, fulfill his revengeful uh, desire. So, but after he saw Krishna, he, 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 he did not want, but still, you know, Krishna insisted, no, your stepmother and stepbrother will die. So it's a part of, you know, I told you in the beginning, so throughout his life, this anger has troubled him. So that is the lesson, you know, we should not uh, harbor anger towards other devotees and other people. This revengeful attitude is not at all good. Probably normally what we heard, that what soul in the form of body they are doing on the earth when they are alive. But if they goes to Golok Vrinda or they march with Prabhupada, what is the stage and what they are doing with them? Sorry. What is What is that? I say normally when the soul is alive and with the body, we heard a lot about their story. But when they leave the bodies and they merge with the uh, merge at Goloka. No, no, they don't merge. They they get uh, spiritual bodies. Huh. They serve Krishna. Huh. They don't merge. This is impersonalism. We don't accept. Maybe for the devotional service, you say it's determination. Guru Maharaj is the example. And for faith, Allah is the third one. Surrender. For surrender, we can also say Bali Maharaj. See, Bali Maharaj um, is a Krupa Siddha. He didn't surrender. He didn't practice anything. He, he just came, then he became very attracted to Vaman Dev, and then he surrendered. You know? They didn't pra he didn't practice. He, he's, he cons comes under Krupa Siddha. But we have to practice surrender. Though I didn't practice, but still he got so much. Yeah, that's what Krupa Siddha, no? He, Brahmana's wives, Sukade Goswami, they are all Krupa Siddhas. They didn't practice.
Anything else? Only what is Mukti? Mukti Hitva Anitha Rupam Swarupena Vyastriti. So we all have Swarupa. You know, Swarupa. Swarupa means, you know, some, we are all having some relationship with Krishna. Somebody is a servant, somebody is a girlfriend, somebody is a friend, somebody is a mother, father, you know, like that. So attaining that position again is Mukti. Prabhu, how to find work? What uh, what is our relationship with Krishna? Now, once, uh, yeah, once you get out of this body, then it will be revealed to you. This bodily concept of life, when we when we are out of it, then Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma, Ashochati ne Kangshati, Mad Bhaktim. So, what is that Param Bhakti? That one. So, when you become uh, free from uh, bodily concept of life, then you will come to uh, Brahma Bhuta stage. In that Brahma Bhuta stage, you are, you are no longer thinking, I am uh, I am this body. Right? This bodily concept is very difficult to get it up. Once you get it up, then uh, um, uh, you are on a Atma platform. You are, you are, now that time you are Atma. Now you are Jeevatma. Now that time you are Atma. That time, um, you, you, the, uh, our Swarupa will be revealed. Then in that Swarupa, you have to serve a, a particular devotee of Golok Vrindavan. You know? So, yeah, yeah. So that is called uh, Siddha Pranali. You know, uh, you, you have to choose a devotee, well, somebody, then uh, that is called Raganuga Bhakti. But that comes under uh, after um, when you become free from bodily concept of life. Uh, if Krishna likes you, then he will give you everything. And if Krishna loves you, then he will take away everything. If someone has nothing, then what will happen? Like Krishna, that pride, you know, everybody has pride. That is why they don't want to surrender. <laughs> you know? <laughs> A pauper is also proud of his penny, you know? Rikshad rai vari, rikshad rai chalata hai. Pado apne aapko samasta hai ki mai brahmin hu, mai bhagwan hu. <laughs> you know? Mera riksha, mera driver tha, abhi chala gaya, uska naam tha Dubey. He is from Brahmin family, but he is driving riksha. <laughs> but he thinks, you know, all this... <laughs> Are? <laughs> oh, you are a Brahmin. <laughs> you are driving riksha. <laughs> you know? So, all that. So, Krishna will take away that pride. Prabhupada, you said that Lord Krishna, Lord Krishna likes you, he gives you material opulences. But if somebody gets material opulences, is it because of that person's previous karmas? Or is it because Krishna likes that person? Or is it both? See, uh, Prabhupada said, karma is, karma jadam, means just by doing karma you won't get result. Someone has to give you the result. Suppose, uh, uh, suppose you want to be a policeman, you dress yourself as a policeman and uh, you know stand at the you know junction, you know directing the vehicles. Will you get the salary? No. <laughs> so the police department has to recognize you and then has to give you uh, result of your work. Like that, Krishna is the one who gives the result. So that is why ultimately, whether you whether you have got karma or now no karma, it's only by the mercy of Krishna you get opulence and all. So that is why we should always uh, acknowledge Krishna's uh, mercy in our lives. So we should remain thankful to Krishna. And probably without karma, you don't you don't get any material opulence. No, no. If Krishna wants to give, he will give. Huh? Yeah. When you think you get, I have seen. If you suppose uh, I've got karma of becoming rich, but if Krishna thinks that I become a devotee, and then uh, um, 
uh, then Krishna will think, okay, if, he, if this guy becomes rich, he will become spoiled. So I will not give rich, richness, riches. <laughs> so, what about material appearance, suppose in the case of Sudama? Huh? In the case of Sudama, he was given a lot of material appearance, he became material appearance. And that appearance was ultimately used by Sudama in the service of Lord only. No, no. See, Sudama, why he gave, you know? He gave because Sudama has developed this pride that I am such a renounced yes, person. Yes, that pride was there. <laughs> so, to remove that pride, yes. Yeah. Janak Maharaj also was very opulent, but he utilized all opulence in the service of the Lord only. So, that Lord also will decide? Yeah. So, simply by doing karma, we won't get anything. So, Krishna will decide whether he, he should give what result he has to give. In general, it works for karmis, you know. Uh, if you do some karma, you will get the result. Krishna makes the arrangement for giving result. But for devotees, uh, somebody, that is why uh, devotees, they don't have to go to astrologers. Because uh, for devotees, astrology doesn't work. Because Krishna will decide. My bade, bade papa, he was a uh, I, you know, ret retired IFS officer. He was, see, he was a very personal friend of Mrs. Gandhi. Yeah. He used to take breakfast with Mrs. Gandhi, Sanjay Gandhi. Yeah. So he was an astrologer. Right? He was an astrologer. So he told Sanjay Gandhi uh, to avoid uh, all this, you know, flight travel and all. There is a Mrityuganda for him and all. So he didn't listen. So when uh, uh, I became a devotee, so um, he was actually very, very sure, you know, that uh, no, no, this guy, he cannot, uh, uh, he cannot actually become a uh, sannyasi. Cannot become a he has to get married. He ha he that uh, uh, um, he has that uh, yoga. yoga of uh, becoming rich. No, becoming rich. Uh, see, so he was telling my father, no way, you know, uh, he has to get married. Like that. So it was there in my yoga, you know. But uh, I was very stubborn, and then I sur you know, surrendered to Krishna. I never approached any astrologer or anything. So Krishna, Krishna said, "Okay, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> he will. I will not give you <laughs> any rich." <laughs> yeah. So previously, uh, in my astrology, everybody was saying, you know, that at the age of 28, you will become very rich. You will become very rich. So I was thinking, oh, I, I was, you know, in the, you know, dreaming, daydreaming, I'll become rich and all. <laughs> but actually, then at the age of 28, I joined Hare Krishna. <laughs> you know, so I got rather a sphere, you know. Most rich. Most We are all the sons of our richest personality. Yeah. So we are all rich ones. Yeah. Once uh, uh, one uh, devotee, Satyanandas, he was d distributing books uh, in Los Angeles and then somebody suggested, uh, uh, gave him advice, you know, why are you parasite, you know, work, you know, depending on the society, begging and all, why didn't you do some work and earn money and all that. So he somehow he got, felt like that and then he went to Prabhupada and told him, uh, Prabhupada, uh, somebody suggested like that, you know, why don't you work and all that. Prabhupada said, rich man's son doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Let all these fools and rascals work hard. They will give it to us. They say better at heaven sonar and all. They just come and give, you know. Donation. Ham kider jaat? Huh? Traveling all over the world twice, I have done you know, like, yeah. three times I have experienced. Can you do that much work? Yeah. That also he asked. <laughs> so, yeah, we are all rich, rich man's sons. You know, we don't have to work. 
Only you know who work hard. You know donkeys only work hard. <laughs> Right? So they say, I am a workaholic. That means you are a donkey, you know? <laughs> yes. You are a donkey of Lord Krishna. No, no. You see, <laughs> we don't, we are dogs of Lord Krishna. We don't work hard, you know? We are very happy. Yeah, it's a pleasure, you know? Like, uh, almost 20 years I have uh, dressed the deities. I don't get any salary or anything, right? But it was a pleasure, you know? Like, it was two hours. लगातार हमको mind my you know mind body लगा के हमको dress करना पड़ता है, right? We but it's a pleasure. Yes. We don't want to give up like you know we fight. You know sometimes, right? Every day thirty thirty minutes I do arti. I don't want to give it to anybody because you see me right? Twenty years I am doing arti. I don't give it to anybody. You know, मैं किसी को बुला के नहीं रहा I am very tired today. You do the arti. No, we it's a pleasure you know. Like that. So we don't work hard, you know. We we call our we not. <laughs> I'm calling myself. Right. Like sometimes you know, ekadasi uh, day, uh, uh, right? Some seven hours I gave lecture, marathon lecture I gave. Every Nirjala ekadasi I do marathon lecture series. So it's not uh, the karmis and all. They take they charge money and. All that, but we don't. Uh, so Krishna, uh, service in Krishna is not hard work. It's a pleasure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Prabhupada writes, you know, in uh, uh, that you know, sometimes you know, Krishna is very, very merciful. If you harbor some material desires, He will send you to Swargaloka and make you enjoy there and then take you. So uh, basically, you know, desire Yeah, you will make. But if he is in spirituality, spiritual. So it all, you know. <laughs> Depends how sincere you are. Uh, like uh, Krishna says in 11th Kendu Bhagavatam, that uh, my de my if my devotee uh, has a material desire, you know, then wants to enjoy, in uh, uh, then he if he doesn't finish, right, uh, then he will I will send him to uh, Swargaloka. Prabhupada said 90% of Iskan devotees they will go to heavenly planets. Because you know material desire is there, but uh, but if you go to heavenly planet, you know it's a big loss of time, you know. So then Krishna says in eleventh canto that if my devotee doesn't want to go to heavenly planet, then I will not send him. So in the beginning itself, you just pray to Krishna that my dear Lord, if any material desire is left out, please don't send me to Swar uh, Swargaloka. Jo bhi hai idhar hi. Katam kar dena. One doubt. Now, if uh, the devotee is sent to Swarga Loka, what will be the duration there? Because by the time he comes back again, it will be more than eight hours. Yeah, that's why. So very dangerous to go to Swarga Loka. <laughs> so Swarga Loka means, you know, uh, basically, uh, Vishnu Jagatakur uh, uses a very strong word in Seventh Canto Bhagavatam. Uh, that uh, it is a prostitute house. Punas punas charvid charunana. You know, oh, kya mogra, look, kuchaina, pella old cinema, old movies mes dikata tana, oh, karke mujra dekte, kote me jate, I don't know, kya mukakdarka sikandar, Amita Bachan. I say a kote hai. It's a waste of time. It's like, um, if you, yeah, what they do, you know, Indra and all, they simply, you know, watch dance of, you know, mm -hmm. Apsaras dancing. Oh yeah, So, uh, pray to Krishna, my dear Krishna, please don't send me to Swargaloka. Give me a birth in the, 
ये डिबोटी फैमिली इवन फ्रॉम वाईकुंठा यू कैन नॉट गो बैक टू गोलक वृंदावन even from suppose you are in vaikuntha and then some devotees uh, you see krishna or some coming and then you get a desire to have the uh, to be with sham sundar krishna then from vaikuntha you will not be transferred you have to take birth on boom bomb bhumi practice and then go to golok but duration <laughs> may reduce like not long duration that can be possible so three lifetimes you know prabhupada said if you are very determined one lifetime but otherwise three lifetimes you will go back to godhead theek hai thank you hari krishna